Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm playing with the Dinosaur True King deck yet again, after a little bit of some changes. Now, this video I'm mainly going to be trying to show off a combo that is utilizable in this deck that was uh, that was basically uh, come up with by one of my friends that lives over in Europe, Darren, um, who has actually put the combo up on uh, Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh!'s channel uh, as of like yesterday, I believe. Um, or like the day before. I don't know when exactly this video is going out uh, in terms of when I'm filming it, but it's like the day that it came out as far as when I'm filming. Uh, so there's that little bit of uh, knowledge that you get access to. But, so what the combo is, is the combo is literally opening Dragonic Diagram or the Earth True King plus any one of your uh, dinosaur starters. So Pterodon, Baby Sarasaurus, or Soul Devouring Oviraptor. And what you end up with is you end up going into uh, Denglong. You send a True King to Grave, making it 9. You make Ultimaya Zulkin. You search nine branches of the Yang Zing, nine pillars of the Yang Zing, off of your uh, off of your Ding Long. You set the nine pillars, summon Dragoon Knight Trident out of your extra deck, right? Then you send three cards to grave, uh, sending three cards from your opponent's extra deck to the graveyard. And when you summoned the uh, Earth True King off of your combo sequence, you destroyed two Earth monsters for it: a Baby Sarasaurus and a Pterodon, or any combination thereof, including at least one Baby Sarasaurus. And uh, and you use it to banish three extra deck cards from your opponent's extra deck. So you remove six cards out of their extra deck. So you basically get to literally look at their extra deck and take the six most important combo pieces out of their extra deck out of their uh, out of their accessibility pool. So it's actually like a really cool combo. Uh, and you end with a floater, and you end with uh, you end with Logia plus a Yang Zing with uh, with nine pillars face down. So you take six cards out of their extra deck, and then you end with Logia and end with a Yang Zing monster with the uh, nine pillars face down that you're usable they're able to use to negate anything so you're able to use Lagia and nine pillars to negate two cards so you crippled their deck and then also you have uh, you have uh, ended with two basically solemn judgment like effects uh, so it's a really cool concept uh, the problem is that it doesn't really have a lot of weight going second um, so that's a bit of an issue but ultimately let's see if we can uh, if we can mess around with it for this video and see if we can get any sort of good uh, stuff basically see if we can get any good results uh, pointing towards uh, its usability and stuff like that but anyway enough rambling let's just jump straight into the game shall we all right so let's see how this goes okay lost rock paper scissors so if he's playing the same deck that I'm used to seeing him play in all the times that we play both off and on camera uh, then he's playing synchrons or junk doppel I guess uh, so we'll see how this goes uh, but it's not looking too promising if he's just opening with double s with with a T set and two back row, uh, so that's a bit underwhelming, at least um, from that sort of perspective. But so we have Dragonic Diagram and we have the uh, True King monster. So even if this doesn't resolve, um, then we're completely fine with that. I would honestly really hope that one of I, w I wish that one of these was a uh, was like uh, <laughs> uh, what you gonna do that uh, a uh, Twin Twister to be used here because then it would just be really free. Uh, but so, as it looks like, it's not going to be that simple. Um, so the Pterodon will resolve getting Soul Devouring uh, Oviraptor. And so I could use this and get my Baby Sarasaurus in hand. Um, so there's that. I could Normal Summon, Pop. Okay, so Breakthrough Skill on this, which is fine. Easy. Um, that's easy. That's fine. Okay, good. Um, I can actually work with that to a certain degree. Because uh, I've got the instant fusion as well, so it's it's almost fine. Uh, because I can summon another one out of deck, um, and that would be easy. Um, I can summon another one out of deck off of the second baby Sarasaurus, just so that I can uh, float stuff around. Uh, but so what we'll do here is I'll use Fossil Dig for another baby Sarasaurus, and I'll be able to uh, use Lithosazm, uh to pop both of them, and I'll be able to float into uh, Pterodon and uh, Drek. Aolo, uh, and then that'll be that'll be usable. So we'll do this. Uh, I'm gonna try and banish three cards out of his extra deck with the Lithosagm, um, Lithogasm, Lithosagm, Lithosagm. Its name appears Lithosagm, and that's the name I'm used to. Uh, but it's Lithosagm, Lithosagm. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is going to just do that and destroy that. That's so irritating. Why? <laughs> Why have you done this? Um, let's see. It doesn't destroy his cost, so that's an irritating fact. Um, God damn it. Warning, really? Uh, why? Why am I dealing with this nonsense? This can't attack this turn. Um, sh 
shit. Uh, let's see, I can fucking do stuff, but I can't do cool stuff, and that's the problem. I need to be able to do cool stuff. Need to do cool shit. That's all I want to do in life, is cool shit. That's all, all that we need. All that we need in life is cool things, cool shit, cool story. Bro, um, he's got three in hand, so... Torque Toon Gear? Why do all your cards have no pictures? What is going on here? Why does all your cards have no pictures? Level Eater and Torque Toon Gear. Now they have pictures. Alright, that took a little bit. Um, okay, so it's a Union Monster. Um, it just does protection. Okay, so that's easy. Uh, so he level leadered into Formula Synchron. So he's just playing his Synchron deck again. Uh, but unfortunately, his deck does not seem up to the challenge that he is trying to give it to do because it seems to be suffering from consistency problems, which uh, cannot blame it because it's uh, Synchrons. If we uh, if we just want to talk about this in a terminology that is the least bit of a uh, thing. Really? No, you are not. You drew that. That's fine, though. Because now I just get to do this. I'm so irritated. I'm so actually agitated. Like, true, actual rage. Um, but so we'll just we'll summon this guy back. This thing will trigger, which can summon a uh, miscellaneous source out of the deck. Not really a big factor. Um, I can summon the Dracaleo. Uh, actually, I can summon a miscellaneous source, and that'll actually be a huge thing, because that'll allow me to put this out of my hand, um, onto the board. So that's actually probably real. Um, like, super real, actually. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best bet for how this needs to go. Uh, considering I'm being disrupted at literally every twist and every turn, um, the best thing I can do is just make his deck not playable even more than it already is, uh, by doing cheeky things. Uh, and this can uh, float into a uh, into another Soul Devouring Oviraptor to give me a search. Uh, so that's pretty alright. So yeah, we'll do this. Uh, I just want the Pterodon off the board. Uh, just because it's going to clog for space. It's not really going to be doing anything, um, per se. And uh, yeah, so this will special summon another Oviraptor, which I can then use. Yeah, we'll definitely use this here. And we'll use this to get... I can get Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, actually. Um, so I think I will, because it's summonable this turn. It's 100% summonable this turn. Uh, so yeah, add this to hand. And I've got Instant Fusion as well, which I can utilize to just make another rank 4. So I've got Lithosasm and Grave, I've got Miscellaneousaurus, which I could use um, to summon a Thingo. But so yeah, we'll do this. Miscellaneousaurus for 1 into the uh, Drac Ilio. Or. Aeolo? <laughs> Aeolo? Uh, but so, I can summon this at any point. I could pop one of these out of my hand and summon uh, another thing from deck, like a Tyranno Infinity or something like that. Um, so that would be pretty cool. The Tyranno Infinity would be like 3k. So we could work with that. Uh, but so we'll do Ding Long here. Uh, Ding Long with the Aeolo and one of the Soul Devouring Oviraptors. So this will come out. I'll use its effect to add my Solemn Strike to my hand, not Solemn Strike, my uh, Solemn Judgment type card, uh, adding the nine branches. I literally wanted to do this turn one, uh, but can't because of the fact that uh, that I was stopped at every twist and turn. And now one of the coolest things here also is that I could actually just synchro these right here into uh, Cloud Castle, uh, and that would be like super cool, because then I could Cloud Castle bring back uh, the, uh, the, the uh, Lithosagium that's in the grave, but uh, otherwise, we're just going to do this play, and we're going to go into... Uh, the uh, Ultimaya Zulkin, uh, because Ultimaya here is uh, is pretty strong. I'll be able to take cards out of his extra deck. Um, now I'm not able to take out six. I'm able to take out three, um, but still, we're okay with that uh, to a certain degree. Now I can get Chiwin here, and Chiwin would be a Synchro material, but we're gonna get the Swanee because we need something for this. Uh, so from here, we get to set this card, and yes, we will use that, uh, 100%. Summon Trident, and now Trident, I could actually use, 
I've already normal summoned, right? Yeah, I have. So I can use Trident to send itself, send the Sulkin, and then send the Oviraptor to Grave. Uh, so there's that. Or I could just start taking cards out of his uh, extra deck, like, turn by turn. And that'd be fine. Um, well, I don't really need this, because I've got the Institution for the rank 4, so... Yeah, uh, we'll just take out two. I'm, I'm only going to take out two right now. Uh, that seems... That seems fine, because uh, I get to look at this and I get to take out like any card that I want. Uh, I'm not going to put Omega in his graveyard. <laughs> no, uh, that's not going to happen at all. Uh, but So we'll, uh, okay, um, and we'll take out this and we will take out, uh, what other card probably starts his plays the most? Uh, it's probably something like Drill Warrior, because uh, he's probably playing like Quick Draw and shit like that. Uh, so that seems like it'll work the best. Now we can use Instant Fusion for Norden. Uh, make like Gaga Ga Samurai, uh, and then that'll be good. That will allow us to attack for the Jame, the Jame shot. Um, so yeah, this gets to summon itself here, and then we can make our Gaga Ga Samurai man, and this can attack twice. So this is more damage than if I had Castelled this, um, just this by itself, uh, because I'll be able to kill this, and then I'll be able to attack 38. Um, and then we will special summon this by banishing the Oviraptor and the Pterodon and summon it. And then we will pop the Baby Sarasaurus out of my hand to flip this face down. And then this will summon Tyranno Infinity. And then overall we'll just be in a really good position, really good strong position. And then we've got the nine branches of the Yang Zing um, in case I don't kill him. If this is something cheeky like Swift Scarecrow, then. We're just going to have the best of times and the worst of times uh, because we'll just be able to do this stuff um, and we'll have this entire board state set up and ready to go. Uh, but so the Tyrant Infinity is out at 3k. I'll use this on itself uh, to let it attack multitudes of times and then that should be that because this can attack the defense position monster and it can deal uh, it can deal a thousand so it's not really it's not really that good to attack this monster with this it's only really good to like stack this up on multiple monsters um, but so I'll just attack with the uh, with the Gaga Samurai and then I'll attack directly with everything else uh, because this is 35 um, so instead of attacking and dealing a thousand and then dealing 38 I'll deal 19 and then 35 uh, so it would be a thousand plus 38 which would be 48 or 54 doing the Gaga Samurai attack, attack directly, and then this. So it's just more damage doing it in this particular order. Um, and then, like, I've got this entire board state set up uh, to where it's perfectly fine because he's got one card in hand, and if he, by some stretch of the imagination, has Swift Scarecrow or Battle Fader and ends my battle phase, I've got a Nine Branches of the Yang Zing for his one card that he's going to draw, and uh, and that will just be that. So overall, that, that was kind of all right. Uh, got to go second though, and this deck really struggles with going second. Specifically, this build, like the combo that I'm trying to use, is the uh, is the combo that takes six cards out of your opponent's extra deck, but it's only good going first. If you go second, you've got so many different like combo reliant things that need to happen that get stopped at literally any twist and turn. Like as you saw, I just got breakthrough skilled and warning, and that was not a good time, and it was not something that I was happy about. If we're being completely real. But, anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and check out the links in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then the Patreon is the best way to do so, honestly. It also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of each month, so definitely be sure to check out the details on that over on Patreon itself. Also, one of the reward tiers gets you access into my personal Discord server, where I talk with people on a daily basis, like, about just random nonsense, and also whenever I play gameplay videos... I get people from that Discord server to play games with. That is where Travola came from. That's where everyone in the past couple of months has come from as far as people that I play for the channel. So if you're interested in either of those uh, qualities, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon. But other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with thus far. So definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that is it for this video. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.